Hey guys, welcome to this tutorial on how to set up a vocoder for live performance. Alright, to set up a vocoder for live performance we need several things. We need an input, a carrier, and uh, the vocoder itself. And of course the mixer and audio interface, monitor, speakers, blah blah blah. All right. um, okay, let's get started. First of all I'm going to create an audio track and just record something on this audio track. Because I'm not going to be performing this live all over the place, so let's just uh, record a quick sample. All right, this is a test and I will be playing with my vocoder from now on using this sample, blah, 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 blah. All right, that should be about a bar. Let me deactivate the monitoring here. All right, and let's take a listen. All right, this is a test and I will be playing with my vocoder from now on using this sample, blah, 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 blah. Let's set that up as a loop and create uh, the other stuff we need. So we need a vocoder, I'm gonna create that whilst holding down shift so it doesn't get connected and of course it had to put that into an audio track which we don't want so make sure you cre um, create that out so oh, fuck you <laughs> okay <laughs> um yeah now um as you can see here on the back of the vocoder you have um, a carrier input and a modulator input and the modulator input is what's going to be our voice also indicated by this tiny microphone here so i'm going to use the direct out and route that to the modulator input. Now as you can hear, or not hear rather, when I play this back, um, we can't hear the audio anymore because it's, feed, because it's fed into the modulator input. Now on the front side of the vocoder we can see modulation levels appearing, which is pretty awesome, so that was the first step. Second step is to create uh, one of our favorite synthesizers. You can use any audio input really, but I just love Thor so much. No Avengers reference here. Iron Man is the shit. All right, uh, analog, analog, and just use really, really rich um, waves here, um, like sawtooth and square. Sine and triangle don't really work that well. Okay, I'm just gonna create a really rich signal, detune them a little bit, and um, now I'm gonna connect that Thor to the carrier input of the vocoder. All right, uh, now still, we won't hear anything whilst we're not playing the Thor. So I've got the Thor set up here, and now I'll play back the signal while playing some notes on my MIDI keyboard. So it should sound a little something like this. Well, actually, it doesn't sound at all. That is, I think, yes, that is because we didn't connect the vocoder output. Right, my mistake. Let me just create a mix channel, move that next to the vocoder, and connect that. All right, sorry about that. Let's try again. Alright, this is a test, and I will be playing with my vocoder from now on using this sample, blah 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 blah. Okay, um, that is basically how to set up a vocoder. Now if you wanted to do live performance, um, you could just delete this clip, and I will now, um, in the post-editing, remove my voice, and uh, I will now improvise some tutorial uh, material using a vocoder. So. Um, let's try here. As you can see, my voice is being represented by the modulation levels and the vocoder. So yeah, um, that's pretty cool stuff. And it's also really fancy to just see your voice uh, being, you know, represented in modulation levels. Because, you know, it just looks really cool and you can show off. Maybe you could even route your visuals uh, guy to, uh, yeah display this on a big projector whilst you're on a gig or some shit. I don't know. Whatever. Um, vocoder setup tutorial. Hope you enjoyed it uh, during cutout.